Have you ever been playing Pokémon and thought to yourself, Hmm, this misses a certain... je ne sais quoi... a certain... spreadsheet type quality. Then don't go anywhere, I've got the perfect game for you. Welcome to Cyrulim Ultimate. Cyrulim Ultimate is the last in a series of creature taming games that wants to be broken by the player in the way it combines dozens of mechanics to create complex and extremely powerful team compositions that will blast everything that comes across them. At its core, you select a class for your character which comes with a few different perks that influence how you'll want to build your team. Perks can range from simple, your creatures have 20% more defense, to more esoteric, whenever your creatures gain a buff, they have a 20% chance to automatically attack. Then you create a party of 6 different creatures, each with their own passive ability, and off you go. The game features a short story, about 20 hours, that, I'm not gonna lie, is a bit of a train wreck. It's cringy and generic all around, but it doesn't really matter as it is there merely as an excuse for you to walk around and do stuff. Both during and after the story, the gameplay loop is basically the same. Go to a realm that belongs to a particular god and has its own set of creatures, complete a quest while killing said creatures and finding loot, go to the next randomly generated realm, etc etc etc. At any point, you can return to the hub in order to craft new equipments and spells, summon monsters that you previously defeated, and overall customize your team. The progression is brilliantly crafted to slowly introduce you to the different mechanics. At first it is, hey, pick a class, they're all very different and unique. Then it is, hey, creatures in this game have these cool passives and you can capture and add them to your party. Then, hey, you can actually fuse creatures to make a new one that has both passives combined. And then, you can unlock relics that add new unique passives to a creature of your choice. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then. It's a never-ending journey that never gets stale because you're always getting new mechanics that compound upon each other in order to exponentially make you stronger in interesting and diverse ways. Although the game is grindy, in the sense that it takes a ton of time to fully unlock everything it has to offer, it also has the utmost respect for your time and the grind is there for a reason. The progression isn't ever about doing the same thing but with bigger numbers. You always feel like you are doing meaningful progress and the piecemeal introduction of content is necessary as to not overwhelm you. Not only that, but you can customize how difficult your experience is directly from the menu for no penalty at all and the speed at which everything occurs, to the point where battles and exploration are just over in an instant with barely any visual feedback. Even changing builds is designed to be as smooth and user-friendly as possible since you can save items and party compositions and the core of the new build is usually very quick to achieve with minimal or no grind at all so you can quickly iterate over different options. Speaking of different builds, the game offers a huge diversity not only in how the synergies work but how they actually play. You can either create a fine-tuned Goldberg machine where everything happens automatically or you can make a team with a ton of conditions to evaluate moment to moment where you need to cast the right spell at the right time. You can make a team designed to blast everything on turn 0, meaning you don't even get to play at all, or another team that slowly grinds enemies down. Even in terms of complexity when building your team, classes are definitely not created equal, and some, like the Paladin or Siege Master for example, have very simple goals. Search for everything defense related, and just <coughs> while enemies kill themselves with reflected damage. Others, like the Astrologer, give you almost no guidance in what they want you to do, and have very open-ended perks which interact with pretty much every system in the game. This requires much more finesse in team composition, but doesn't mean it's better or worse than simpler classes. It's merely there as a way to let you decide what you want to do and to make your own fun. To top it all off, not only does the game have a lot of mechanics, but each mechanic has a lot of possibilities within it. And I mean a lot. There are over a thousand creatures, over 100 spells to equip your creatures with, 30 different classes, and the list goes on and on and on. It's the definition of wide as an ocean and deep as an ocean, <laughs> as an ocean, I guess. Now, the game isn't without fault. There are two major issues that could honestly be deal breakers for you. Number one, broken synergies and mechanics. I, I want to preface this by saying that this isn't a shot at the developer at all, because the game has literally millions of interactions and it is impossible to keep them all in check however doesn't make the actual result better for you, the player. It's not so much that an incorrect or broken synergy will ruin your fun, there's always a slew of other stuff to try and toy with. 
the issue is that it sort of breaks your confidence in the system and has you second-guessing yourself and your decisions. Did this not work because I misunderstood something or due to a bug? Will this cool interaction work or am I wasting my time? Number two, menus could definitely use some work. In this game, you'll spend more time in the menus building your team than actually playing and fighting. And this process can sometimes be extremely fiddly, particularly if you really don't want to use any third-party tools like wikis or websites. And a simple example of these are status effects. In some screens, whenever a status effect is involved, there's a description of what it does. And in other cases, for spells, for example, this doesn't happen. The spell just says, inflict a random enemy with stone. And if you want to know what stone does, you need to close whatever menu you're in, open a different menu altogether, go to your codex, list of status effects, search for stone, and check what it does there. The menus are riddled with annoyances such as this one, and at points it feels like the game was built around using third-party tools like Discord bots or wikis or team planners online. If you can overlook these two issues, Cyrilum Ultimate is an absolute plus that will keep you engaged by constantly throwing interesting ideas at your face and keeping you awake at night considering new synergies to try and... Holy shit, this dude is getting low! See ya!